Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to do an awesome venomous handling video with one of my handy dandy custom tongs from MidwestTongs.com. Hook Tong, which is manufactured by Dana Savarelli. And I really like this tongue because it's better for larger, heavier bodied snakes. I would say if you're gonna be moving uh, something like a gaboon, this is the hook for you. But today I'm gonna be playing with a little Crotalus virtus, also known as a prairie rattlesnake. And I have a friendly little guy in my very safe Rubbermaid trash can right here. You can see this is custom built for housing venomous animals during things like cleaning time. This is a regular 32 gallon large garden trash can with a custom lid with some plexi so I can see down in there. I use this type of container for moving animals or to put them in while we are cleaning. So you can see I have my handy hook here. It's got my nice grip on it and I can very safely and carefully reach down in here and gently lift this big guy right up out of here. This is a very large prairie rattlesnake. You can see I am able to manipulate him and move him around quite comfortably. Obviously, I do not condone free handling venomous and you do need to move your venomous snakes around. This hook is a very smart and safe way to go. Remember, when you're dealing with venomous, it's nice to have your venom lock. It's a good idea not to take your eyes off the animal and try to wear protective footwear if you can. Definitely a closed toe shoe. You wanna work with your animals respectfully and carefully and I always recommend never working alone. One thing that makes this hook unique, which is better for a larger snake, is that it has both of these hooks to more gently distribute the snake's weight rather than having the venomous animal hanging over a very thin hook, kind of like a clothesline. So if you can imagine trying to swing on a thin rope it would be extremely uncomfortable. And when you do have a larger animal, it's nice to have the double hook. Once your lid is snapped on and your animal is safely secured, then you can put your hook away. If you have any questions about where you can get this hook, obviously check out MidwestTongs.com. A few other tongs I have by them, the standard hook, and some of you guys might have seen in my unboxing video, my awesome python hook. I was using this just this morning to feed some large ducks to my huge retics. Hopefully one of those videos will be coming up soon. Somebody asked recently if tongs.com makes ball python hooks. They definitely do. They make the custom double tong. They make all kinds of different hooks. I hook reptiles when they're either venomous or they're nippy. Obviously retics I want to use this because they're huge enclosures to drag them across gently and safely so I don't have to climb inside the enclosure with them. There are lots of reasons to use hooks for venomous, non-venomous, even if you don't keep reptiles. If you're someone who's out in the field even looking for tarantulas, it's a good idea to have a snake hook handy as well as the venom lock system just in case you ever get bitten. This is Venomous Handling with the tongs from MidwestTongs.com. Hope you guys like this one and I'll see you again very soon.